get here early, take the shuttle if you can, and also travel lightly. Those are some of the recommendations for people who are planning on attending the parade and then the celebration at Union Station here following that. The city is expecting some 200,000 people to come out for this big celebration. Kansas City Police gave us a glimpse into what it took to prepare for something of this magnitude. Sergeant Patrick Rousey took us up above Union Station, and that's where they have cameras placed along the entire parade route. This is mainly to monitor large crowds and make sure that everyone stays safe. It's a day that everyone expects will be fun, despite some very quick planning. Hey, and the weather is beautiful. Tomorrow's going to be great. Man, we're, we're on top of the world right now. We are on top of the world. We need to celebrate it and make sure people know how it feels. We can monitor, again, we're looking for, for traffic flow of the parade, making sure the parade participants participants can get through any narrowing on the parade route, which you can see from elevation like this. And the parade will start at noon. The celebration here at Union Station will start after that, likely around 2. But all cars that are parked along the parade route have to be moved by 6 a.m. And we'll have all the information that you need to know about the parade on our website at KSHV.com. Live in Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, back to you.